sequences are there? 32. So if you were to do this tree diagram, maybe you did that to generate the total number of gender sequences when you had two children. Here, it's four. If you did it for five, it's 32. It's really two to the fifth power. If you did it for 10, two to the tenth power, whatever that is. So you can see approaching it from tools that we already know and love, creating a tree diagram has its own limitations. Is that right? You guys okay with that? So what, are you gonna, what kind of tattoo are you guys going to get? What is it? What's your, what's your next tattoo? Binomial formula. Why? Do you want to sit around creating um, tree diagrams for 10 children? No, not at all. OK, so let me ask you this question here, see what you get. We're going we're gonna to go, we're gonna keep that five children setting. Um, oops. Keep this five children setting and say, what's probably having no girls, one girl, two girls? Oh, let's see what. Three girls. Um, how about this? Five. At least one girl. Oh, we're going to have some fun. Less than four girls. Um, between. One and what? Three girls. No more than two girls. Do you guys know that historically, I mean, just talking about having boys and girls, you guys know historically there's been value associated with having children? Do you guys know this? Right? And it's cultural. Different cultures have different um, beliefs. You know, they all vary. Do you guys know? And what culture, I mean, not what culture, but anybody know what a bride price is? <laughs> you guys know what a bride price is? You ever heard that word before? You guys ever heard of bride price? That is when you pay a bride's family for the right to marry that daughter. Could be. Could be. Does anybody's family get paid to marry you? As a girl? In some cultures, the answer is what? Yes, you got to buy that right to marry the daughter. And there's a cost. <laughs> there's a cost. It could be whatever. Probably could have. I mean, this idea, I'm talking about it. This idea, people look at me like nuts and crazy, but it's, it's not. You know, uh, throughout history, throughout time, this is what people do. What culture? Any culture. Any culture. Any culture. Who plan who's engaged here? Anybody engaged to get married? Who's been? Are you engaged? Let me see your finger. Oh, you don't have it with you. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, it is. That's a bride price. You just got payment. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's called uh, not being able to pull the trigger. That's called phony stuff. Um, it's not binding. However, however, Eddie, do you know that if you are a lady and you accept an engagement ring, 
and you do not get married, do you want to know what you, you have to do? You got to give, why do you got to give the ring back? Has there ever been any ladies here who have refused to give the ring back? Yowzdi? You did? Yowzdi. <gasps> That's bad karma. It is bad karma. You have to, well, it's not, you know. You guys know, what did the guy do? Eddie, no, Ed, Eddie, no. Do you know that he can take you to court and get his ring back? Do you guys know that? Ah, uh, remember that bride price? This is a deal. Uh, 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 this is a deal. That exchange, it's, it's from the bride price concept. It's payment to marry. And if you don't marry, he has a right to get back his what? Payment, his ring. And if, you, if he took you to court, you know what the judge will tell you? Hand it over. You guys know that? <laughs> How do you know? Oh, you've seen it? OK, Judge Judy did that. OK, fine, Judge Judy. Divorce court, whatever. It's not even divorce. It's not even divorce. All it is is that you accepted payment for marriage you accepted payment for marriage, and that's a deal. And if it doesn't happen, you got to give that ring back. The guy can, he can actually take you to court and get his ring back. There are some cultures where you put in that bride price. There are some cultures, you put a lot of money in that bride price. And meaning, you may even put a lot of money in that ring. Do you guys know that? No? And it's, you, think, you think that it's something that's kind of, uh, what, that's backwards or, you know, it's not backwards at all. It just has a modern form. That engagement ring, that's what it is. Um, people study different cultures. No. Oh, I, uh, I don't, I think that's just some jewelry thing. But when they get, it's a two-stage, it's smart if they do it that way. It's, and then the real deal. That's smart. You skimp on the engagement ring so that if she reneges like Yowzdi, you're not out too much. But if you really want the rest, you got to complete the deal. That's smart. It's actually true in, in a lot of different cultures. It's very true. You, you know, it's true. This is the way it works. You give the bride's family what? Payment for the bride. And why is that? But why would, why would men need to do that? Because you can study cultures, and if you major in anthropology, part of anthropology is studying cultures. And people do this all the time. Okay, hold on. 